Welcome to Getting Started with Active Reports. My name is Jim Duffy, and I'm the CEO and founder of Take Note Technologies. Take Note is proud to be the official training partner for Grape City. I'll be your host for this series of videos focused on getting you started with Active Reports. In this first video, I'll walk you through installing Active Reports, locating the sample files, and viewing the documentation. Subsequent videos will delve into learning about different report types that you can create how to create section reports, how to create page reports, and RDL reports, adding controls to a report layout, displaying a report in the report viewer control, grouping in subtotals, setting data sources, creating chart reports, creating map reports with a new active reports map control, and so much more. We've got plenty to cover in this first video, so let's get started. Let's start by installing active reports. I've already downloaded the installer file and double click to begin the installation process. The installation process is very typical and should proceed without any problem. I will click Next to begin the process. I will accept the terms and license agreement. By default, the installation includes all of the Active Reports controls and the samples. I'm going to select Activate Now and enter my serial number when prompted, but I'll spare you from having to watch me enter my serial number. The installation will continue for a moment or two and then display the installation completed page of the installation wizard. Installation, mission accomplished. One thing I really like about Active Reports is the complete integration with Visual Studio. During installation, the Active Reports project templates, toolbar, and toolbox are automatically integrated with Visual Studio. So when you create a new project, you'll see there are Active Report project templates available to use. To locate the Active Report samples, select the Active Reports 9 Samples options on the Windows 8 Start screen. In prior versions of Windows, click the Start button, select Component 1, and then select the Samples option. In that folder, you will find all the samples organized in folders by report type. The Data folder contains all the sample data files that are used throughout the samples. I will select the Section Reports folder, select the Data folder, select the Bound Data folder, select the C-sharp folder, and then select the bound data solution for Visual Studio 2013. The two files to note in the project are the invoice CS file and the main form CS file. Invoice CS is a section report file, and main form CS houses the report viewer control to display the report. I will run the sample project and click the Bind to Dataset button to display the invoice report. The Active Reports documentation is available in a few different formats. It's available for viewing online, or it's available for download in .chm, MSHelp3, or PDF format. To view the Active Reports documentation, select either of the Active Reports 9 documentation options on the Windows 8 Start screen. In prior versions of Windows, click the Start button, select Component 1, and then select any one of the documentation options. The Active Reports User Guide has many getting started and how-to topics with code samples to examine and copy and paste if you like. The Getting Started section includes information on how to add an active report to a project, how to add a data source to a report, and how to view reports. The Samples and Walkthroughs section contains descriptions of all the included samples with links that open the sample projects in Visual Studio. For those who want to dig deeper, the Class Library section is full of documentation topics and code samples for all the public members of each assembly included with Active Reports. That wraps up this first Getting Started with Active Reports video. Coming up in the next video, I'll review the different report types available for creating your next report. Until then, for Grape City, I'm Jim Duffy, CEO of Take Note Technologies. Thanks for watching.